So, we're starting out in Spooky Lavender Town today. But we're not going to do much there at first. We're actually heading towards Celadon City where there's something arguably more spooky. Are you ready for this? I'm not sure you are. In Celadon City, there is a Pokemon gym. And in this gym, there are four girls. And they're surrounded by trees that have to be cut down. But none of their Pokemon no cut. Have they been there their whole lives? What are they doing there? Are they plants? Are they like germinating there? Very spooky. We're about to brave these conditions. We're about to go up against the leader. It's a wild ride, I assure you that. Let's go. Gotta fight this giga draining uh, hydroxy cut looking beach victory bell. Hopefully, a couple psychics will do the trick. Nyquil doesn't need to meditate. I've never had a bottle of Nyquil that's needed to meditate. Uh, next up, we'll have Jelly Bro take on this Tangela. Because it's the actual, actually the only uh, grass type that, in almost pretty much the only grass type in this gym that's actually weak against poison types. I was expecting more to be weak against poison types, but hey, at least we have this Tangela to take out. <laughs> I believe Erica also has like a full heal that she'll use. She'll pro—I mean, she'll probably use it next turn. Wow. Yeah. There we go. We just wasted her full heal on that, and also just wasted a, t a turn from her Tangela. Good stuff. Good show, Jelly Bro. Next up is her Vile Plume, which is her strongest Pokemon. I'm not sure how I'm going to take it on yet. I think I'm going to actually start out with Queen Latifah and Poliwhirl because uh, they're water types. So if it uses Giga Drain on them, then they're going to actually end up healing it and end up doing less than I really want it to do. So I'm gonna at least just get that smoke screen in. Kind of the strategy I did with my Seedra in Japanese green version, uh, where I use Sand Attack on a lot of the Elite Force Pokemon. And then with Vertigo, I'm gonna go for Hypnosis. Rock a bye vile bloom in the treetop. When the bow breaks, the water pulse will blah. Then you'll wake up and you'll drain my poly whirl. And this whole thing was useless because you just healed everything. Perfect. Rock the Bion 64 in Erica's gym. I didn't know that this virtual thing could sleep. I've given up on rhyming, and I'm probably just gonna stay asleep. Oh well, the Vile Plume will miss, and maybe we'll get another hit. Sorry, you had to listen to that. Don't know what got into me there. Hmm, that confusion, though. Nope, 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 nope. 
And now everything up to level 50 will obey, which is great. Needed that. We got Giga Drain. Something can probably use that, but I'm probably not going to use it because Giga Drain, all the drains aren't very fantastic moves in this generation. Now let's make our way to the totally not suspicious game corner. Where there is totally not a button behind this poster that this rocket is guarding. I mean, when I want to hide a button to my secret base, of course I'd put it behind the poster. I mean, it's not like people would ever notice people peeling back this poster all the time, all day, to get down the stairs. And it's not like anyone would notice someone suspiciously guarding that poster. Perfect plan, Team Rocket. Perfect plan. Okay, so I admit I got very lost in the rocket base here. I always forget where exactly to go. So here's a nice summary of what all I did in the rocket base. Wing attack. Ooh, finally a pretty useful move. Uh, gonna teach that over false white. My question is, do you even lift key, bro? Okay, so now we're about to face Giovanni. Made it all the way here. And we'll feel a world of pain for our insolence. Sounds wonderful. You'd think that, like, in such in a team so full of random poison types, that Giovanni would use uh, mostly poison types, but no. Twister. That's a dragon type move. That could be useful, especially because <laughs> we're not able to evolve her into uh, Kingdra. But as a Seedra, that's gonna be amazing. Okay, this is unrelated, but right now outside I hear people shouting Christmas carols at the top of their lungs in a kind of frightening way, like they're, they're I don't know. It's weird. And there goes a fairly uneventful battle with Giovanni. <laughs> You'd think that the boss of an evil team would be stronger than random trainers that you would find probably a couple routes south of here. But no, that is not the case, because this is the world of Pokemon. Now we get the Sylph Scope that we needed. Sick. So now we can actually make our way back to Super Spooky Lavender Town. Super Spooky. And we're gonna go to the top. But first, we have to find our super spooky rival. Dude, bro. Is your Pokemon dead? Hey, it's alive. I can at least make them faint. Let's go. And, like, I know there's a theory about um, your rival's Raticate being dead at this point, but we never even fought his Raticate on the SSN. Because <laughs> we skipped that completely. It always throws me off whenever they actually switch Pokemon. I think this is one of the few games where they actually do that. Gyarados is terrifying to face, honestly. It's 
very strong. I mean, look at that. That was one psychic attack. One of the strongest attacks on the team right now. This Gyarados is really metal. It thrashes so much. Okay, so we beat our rival, and he did a good job of decimating some of our strongest on our team, so... Did he heal us afterwards? Nope. He's a jerk. I'm gonna go heal real quick. Now we enter the spooky part of everything, but since we have the sylph scope, all the um, ghosts will actually be visible. So that's pretty cool. Hear all the mediums speak really, really, really weird words. Random sounds. In Japanese, I think it's just like a bunch of random single characters, so I guess they're, they're making sounds there too. It might resemble like some sort of like ghost incantation or something. I don't know. It might have been something lost in translation. That or they're all just crazy, no matter what language it's in. All the tower graveyards just kind of weird me out. First of all, the layout is really crazy because of all the graves everywhere. And second of all, it's really, really strange how, just thinking of how it was built. Like, do they just bury the Pokemon under the floorboards or something? <laughs> There's the beautiful circle of purification. Which exists just, you know, in case uh, maybe a level 20 Ghastly might have wrecked you. And now we're almost to the top of the tower. Emphasis on the almost. Okay, be gone intruders. The ghost. I've always wondered if this thing is shiny locked or not. And I don't want to be the one to find out, but <laughs> I don't think locks exist back at this point. Oh, <laughs> just ran. There we go. Oh, darn. Now we've reached the top where there are Team Rocket goons everywhere. That means it's time to fight a bunch of poison types.
and just walk away. Last goon. Keep the you made thank you, but I came from my own free will. I came to calm the spirit of Cubone's mother. I have to make my own giant spirit. It's finally left. It's most like you fear of kind of concern. Follow me in my home Pokemon house at the foot of this tower. <laughs> That's a very creative name for a house. Just a Pokemon house. And we get the Poke Flute now. So now that we finished up our business in Super Spooky Lavender Town, let's go back to Celadon. Alright, we're back in Celadon, and now we're heading over to Route 16, where there's the Sleeping Snorlax. Let's play this flute. Wake it up! And we're gonna do exactly what most people would do after waking up a sleeping monster. We're gonna run away. And returns to the mountains, wherever the mountains are here. And now we're on Cycling Road, where there's just a gigantic gang of people with poison types. And we managed to avoid them all. Press B to stop at any time, something that I didn't learn for a while. We're bikers, we rule the roads, man! Stop it on a dime. I'm amazed at our ranking skills, honestly. It's like you're speedrunning the game, trying to like get a tool assisted speedrun or something, just stopping every few seconds or something. I don't know. But we just made it through Cycling Road. And now we have made it officially, almost officially, to Fuchsia City. And here we have the Safari Zone and Koga's Gym. Next time we're going to take on Kogus Gym. 